Good morning, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over Vigil's Torch. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be going over Vigil's Torch Farm which is in Ardenweald. Now this is by far my favourite zone already. I love like the, it's druidy, night elfy-esque vibe and it's amazing. But aside from that, what did I actually do today? Well, we actually farmed up Vigil's Torch which is just over here right now. This is a brilliant item to actually farm up at this current rate at the moment. Obviously prices will be dropping as the weeks progress. So just FYI, this is why I provide the worth of imports so you can see how it goes on your server. Other than that guys, what did I actually get for this actual hours worth of farming up Vigil's Torch? Well, I actually managed to get around about 61,387 golds worth. Yeah, this is a pretty damn good farm. Um, overall, we actually got 215 Vigil's Torch. We got 167 Death Blossom, as well as 11 Night Shade, the key note item that's actually worth a great deal. If we and the one that is actually worth quite a fair bit is the Vigil's Torch overall. I don't know why the price is so high, but I would expect it to actually balance down to about 20k. Uh, given uh, like a week or so before everyone to start farming it. So that's something that you may want to bear in mind right there, that obviously prices will drop as they are more and more commonly farmed. So aside from that, what is the route that we're actually going to be undertaking for the actual farm? Well, it it is oh, just here in this lovely little section, right about ha. and. Basically, you start off in the heart of the forest, easy flight point, you just join the route and then you just follow it around. The one thing of note when we're actually going to be doing this route today, so we can actually just run over there and start farming. Uh, one thing of note is there are some panthers, so you will get attacked on this if you are not fast. I preferably like to farm this route if I was on my druid and obviously I am on my druid. But if you don't, you're gonna find it a little bit harder to dismount and remount. You may have to kill mobs in between your herbalism because some of these mobs you probably wouldn't be quick enough to actually do. Granted, if you do use the sky golem and the dark moon fire water, then you could probably get away with it. But other than that, if you don't, then you're gonna really struggle with this farm if you come into contact with any of those harder hitting mobs. The harder hitting mobs are used typically just in this section over here and it's overall not that bad in general and we just missed a node but I'm not going back for it. Uh, <laughs> so that being the case, Vigil's Torch, brilliant to actually farm up so let's just gather that up right there and overall that all bing bang bosh we're done with that one so we'll get some more right there. And what we're looking out for on this route is the Vigil's Torch and the Death Blossom that will actually pop up. Now, I do have a little theory about this, and that is most likely that Death Blossom seems to be got is the common herb. So that means it's most likely going to be the cheapest over the long term. So at the moment, everything's selling for quite a lot of gold, so it really doesn't matter all that much. But as it progresses and think farms become more and more common, you're really going to, you may actually start to struggle when you're actually doing all of that. So anyways, what we're actually going on with now, we're just following the route around and around, just trying to find any of those things. Obviously I got attacked <laughs> by a load of mobs and you can be fine, just make sure that you use your Dark Moon Fire Water. I'm not using it now for this video because I'm gonna go do some farming in a minute and I like to start the potion as soon as I start the farm. So when it wears off, I know that's been an hour. So, then again, Nightshade, we've got six more Nightshade, I believe. Yeah, uh, seven, seven Nightshade from that. So that's not too bad overall. And what we're doing is we're just actually just gonna follow that through. So, harder hitting mobs, they're pretty much everywhere. Just be careful. And overall, it's basically, I would recommend that you had a druid when you did this. Here we are, we're getting attacked even more, blah, blah, blah. And that's just something you're gonna have to look out for when you're actually trying to farm this up because you will get attacked by mobs. Like, these plants are very annoying. They do daze you 
and it is if you don't have Dartmoor Firewater, you will have to actually fight them to get to your herbs. So that's another reason why to get Dartmoor Firewater for this particular farm. So overall, not a bad farm. It's actually pretty good, but I wouldn't be surprised if this actual gold value did drop down overall so that's something you may want to consider moving forward after this first week i would not be surprised if it actually dropped down to about 20,000 gold and they all started baselining all of those farms i'm just adding this in at the end and death blossom is looking to be the most common herb at the moment so it obviously makes sense to, for, to use that for milling for inscription if that's the most common one so that's something you can take into the foreseeable future. Obviously, some of these things may not stay the same. This is just my view on it. At the moment, Death Blossom is pretty much in every single zone when you're farming, so obviously that was the most common one and it will drop down in price. Depends really on the amount of people that actually wanna do active farming at the moment. Other than that, guys, you can keep an eye on that by importing the Worth It import for this actual farm in your Worth It, which is in the description down below accompanied with the actual root for roots and the only way in order to import that is by using the add-on roots import slash export. Now other than that guys have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better then why not check out the Patreon. Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.